As businesses seek to improve customer support, they often turn to technology, artificial intelligence, and chatbots to provide quick, accurate, and personalized responses to inquiries. These technologies promise to revolutionize the way businesses interact with their customers, but with great power comes great responsibility. And as AI and chatbots become increasingly prevalent, we find ourselves at a crossroads. We have the ability to create machines that can understand and care for us, but we must also grapple with the ethical implications of wielding such power. The personal data collected by businesses demand that we ensure privacy and responsible use. As we push the limits of AI, we must also consider its potential to promote empathy, kindness, and unity in our world. The machines we build will shape the future of not only customer support, but society as a whole. We must ask ourselves, what kind of world do we want to create? Will we use these technologies to enhance the human condition and bring us closer together, or will we further divide ourselves? This is a tale of technology and responsibility, one that requires us to tread carefully and consider the impact of our choices. Path ahead is full of uncertainty, but by embracing our ethical responsibilities, we create a brighter future for all of us. Hi, my name is Dennis Wakabayashi. Thank you for being on the show today. In this episode, we're gonna be talking about AI, chatbots, customer experience, and to have these conversations, I have a friend of mine, Kareem Bari. He's a customer experience expert out of Dubai, and he's agreed to talk to us about his philosophies on the ethical opportunities of AI, as well as some of the things he's doing and the future of chatbots. So with all that said, let's welcome Mr. Kareem Bari. Hey, Dennis. Hi, all. This is Kiran. I come with several years of experience working in luxury hospitality, and now I focus a lot more on customer experience, business excellence, and digital delivery. What do you see as the biggest challenge facing companies looking to implement AI chatbots in their customer service operations, and how can they overcome this challenge? I think if it is one word, I think one need to be cautious about FOMO, fear of missing out. And a few things that they should be careful is seeking immediate ROI, can be something that they should be cautious about because typically you are sold that this chatbot and AI solution will help you remove, reduce manpower by 100. So organizations often make this mistake of instantly jumping onto it for the maximum ROI. Instead, I think it's a great idea to test it, trial it, and this has been done in the past also, so that you are prioritizing your customer experience before the gains that would follow, thereby never antagonizing your customers because they are the reason for your existence. And also, I think knowing about your customer type persona and knowing how fast or how slow to go ahead with this implementation, I think can help them to differentiate themselves. So how do you ensure that AI chatbots provide a personalized and engaging customer experience rather than feeling robotic or impersonal? That's a wonderful one. Think of it. If I'm going to have a rich context-based conversations, let's say the it's a banking system, and the system knows that you went to a Chipotle restaurant yesterday. And it says, I hope you had a great meal at Chipotle yesterday. But being cautious that what you pick up shouldn't be too personal, should be something generic. And that's where I think the algorithm comes into picture. So... It necessarily don't have to be like it's reading out what you asked and the job is done. That's very impersonal. I think personalization at scale has always fancied me and looks like the day has come that AI will ensure that the personalization at scale can happen for every possible business we can imagine. Wow. You know, that's a really great point. And it brings up some ethical concerns too, in terms of AI. What do you think are some of the ethical considerations companies need to take into account when using AI chatbots in their customer service operations? I think they have to be very careful about tagging what is private, personal, and what is something that the chatbot can use. Beyond that, making sure that this journey is a win-win for mankind. I think there are certain things that can be tagged as personal and it can stay in like a core I'm talking about which cannot be touched. Even the chatbot will not go there. 
but there should be a method to classify on the fly on the go and making sure that what's usable is used and what is not to be used and what has ethical consequences i think uh, should be uh, avoided i think this way if we set the foundation right today the organization which are leading i feel uh, no one will have concerns with adopting this faster wow that's uh, i think you bring up some very great points about how we create the the ai chatbots and what we train them to understand is our personal boundaries or our privacy is just as important as the personalization great advice and finally where do you see the customer service industry headed in the next few years and how will ai play a role in shaping that future i think the benefits are multifold because think about it that the ai chatbot can attend to hundreds and thousands simultaneously and also i may come to a point where i say i allow the chatbot to be kind of my companion i will ask it something very personal and share as well and expect it to keep what secret as secret and what where i see guidance from it because i was having this discussion recently where if i like let's say bhagavad gita and i say can you keep a pray keep giving me the nuggets of wisdom contextually and the immediate point that answer that came was yeah that's a very interesting aspect which can get into the cross the ethical boundary so i think the future is all about uh how you can make sure we can coexist and they can add value to every companion that is the human being there i think one of the big questions on people's mind is as these providers create these chatbots that have artificial intelligence we want to be able to have them be non-biased and always working for good how do you think we accomplish that that's a fantastic one dennis this just came up last week in a discussion how about we are so much speaking about what's coming out how about looking at from where is it coming let's assume Microsoft has its own single source of truth. Google has its own single source of truth and there could be a third vendor who also has their single source of truth. If these vendors calibrate, work hard to ensure all the negatives that are possible with a AI environment are mitigated and the end customer gets only what is good. I see this as a way that the vendors who want to source the right data information have choices and they can go to the right source who has the best single source of truth how about that what do you think the future holds for ai and chatbots in the next year or the next 5 years the future for sure is bright because they provide efficiency they provide trustworthiness to the let's say the brand that is subscribing to them and also to the end customer so as long as we are cautious and take care of the aspects like what you just pointed about at twitter or some sources and have those layers in place that take care of all things that can go negative whether it is a bias or wrong inf- or you can say fake information and i foresee that there could be a need for something like an iso certification where there can be that kind of a stamp of uh, you can say credibility and then all would want to have that stamp of credibility for their version of chatbot or a ai tool that they would use this i feel can give hope to us that we move away from misinformation fake information and start our journey towards only truth and nothing else. Wow, what a great conversation with Krin. You know, he really opened my eyes to my personal contribution to the collective of AI and I hope you think about that too. We are moving towards a world where we can move away from the old algorithms based on conflict and drama to algorithms that empower us with creativity and opportunity. We all have a hand in it. Thank you for being here for on today's show. 
Next week, we'll be talking about customer experience, AI, and personalization. I hope you'll join us. Until then, have a great week.